This portion of the presentation is brought to you by Team MC. Don't be competitive with other streamers, be competitive with yourself. Check out TeamMC.com for more on how you can become a part of our team. I'm here to prevent a redesign for you guys based on a style that I have done in this series and of course to give you a bit of an update on what's going on with Joy Designing. Hashtag Cooley Nation, I am your artist show enough. Just be sure to hit the subscribe button onto this channel so that way you can stay in the know on the content that's being uploaded here. Now, I want you guys to follow along with this new format that I got going on here. Uh, this is a bit of a change, so I hope you guys do uh, keep up and uh, you know as we build this style together. Keep in mind though that this style, this design is designed, all right, for the female avatar, okay? Now, all now the colors and whatnot, this is going to be displayed in the description field below, but we're going to talk about that real quick. First off, we're going to go for all black, which is all zeros. For smoky gray, 2D, 2D, 2D. Next, for metallic white, or a bit of an off-white color here, is AD, AD, AD. Lastly, we're going to go for 840, 0, 0, 0 for crimson red. All right, now for the hair color, I chose black because it's gonna correlate with everything that you see here with this aesthetic. And uh, you know, but if you wanna go for any other color, you're more than welcome to do so. However, this is more for uh, the overall design here. And this is all zeros here. So we're gonna go for all black. We're gonna click save once you're done. And then we're gonna go ahead over to what I'm using. Now for this hairstyle for the female avatar, I chose long. Um, you know, I tried to use a short hairstyle, but I think long would kind of correlate very well with this. For the face piece, I'm going to choose emissive. All right, we're going to choose the emissive eyes there. Give it a bit more of a, give it a bit of an ominous presence. Now we're going to skip over the shoulders and accessories real quick. We'll go over to the chest piece. All right, for the chest, what I'm using, it is the God Fall or Fallen God. Um, chest style here. This is based off the Fallen God Superman comic that came out and uh, I actually I actually like it. It was enjoyable. It was an enjoyable read. Artwork is fantastic. Michael Turner is an excellent artist. For the leg style, I chose uh, I'm going to go over to One Piece. Now the motif from the legs, it kind of correlates very well with the with the motif from the chest piece. Um, the designs and whatnot, I thought it was pretty nice. So kind of cool this with it then we'll go over to the waist piece and we're going to choose a heart of the predator and you know it just adds a bit of a subtlety to it all right adds a bit of subtlety for the feet piece we're going to choose the thigh high boots all right now we're practically done with this if you want to wear the style as is I think that would it, it would look good. I think it would look good just as is right here. You don't have to use a handpiece, shoulders, or anything else. It's just a, a natural, nice, subtle design. Uh, a bit simplistic, but goes a bit of a long way. It's yet effective, all right? So, however, um, the reason why that I chose Dr. Fate's handpiece is going to correlate with the shoulder piece, which I will grab now. It happens to be one of my favorite shoulder pieces of all time in DC Universe Online. It is the new Genesis shoulder piece. Which just, it's just literally to bulk up the shoulders a bit and uh, just really kind of adds a bit of contrast to Dr. Hands, uh, Dr. Fate's hands, Dr. Hands, <laughs> Dr. Fate's hands here. I'm not going to edit that. We're just going to leave that right in the video. So now for the back piece and, the, you know, we're going to 
gonna finish this off here i chose the steel suit mark one it it's literally the same style and design of that of the um the herald no it is the um i'm gonna go to it real quick the house of l war suit wow i i was off by it by many names <laughs> so but it is a uh, base but literally the herald of the 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 um the yeah excuse me house of l war suit and the steel suit mark one they they both have the same design so i just chose the steel suit mark one here and it just really definitely just gives a bit more of a it really adds a bit of royalty to it you know what i'm saying I, I i like this design so and to finish it off to complete this i have i am going to the accessories we're going to uh, use the citrine mr aura all right just adds a little bit of a fiery presence to it all right once you're done go ahead and click save and this is the results of what you see here with the style now of course you know this is a black and white uh, excuse me a black and red style using the colors that is really common in this game but this style was based off of when supergirl was corrupted by dark side and it has a little bit of a of a essence of the you know the red lantern supergirl but i just felt that you know this would be something completely different uh maybe just you know you can say that from from a lore standpoint this is just yet another Kryptonian style to utilize. And I thought the Fallen God chest style for the females work rather well with this alongside with the one piece, uh, classic one piece uh, leg piece here. And then with the thigh high boots, I mean, everything is pretty natural. It's pretty easy to get uh, with the, you know, especially you can purchase the, the heart of the predator, um, you know what I'm saying waste piece there in the vendor in the fashion vendor that's only if if you have the dlc for this also um that you know that associates with the waste style and then also for the waste piece that's from excuse me the chest style that's from the amazon fury part three you go um you go over to the gotham under siege area not Ugh, you know what i'm messing everything up we're just gonna go right ahead and just leave it all here i'm not even gonna bother editing it. let's just say this the chest style is from the amazon fury part three and of course the waist style is that from uh i believe it is war of the light part two so there you go all right i'm not gonna you know edit anything out i messed up whatever you know so i was gonna go into ramble mode and that's something i wanted to avoid so <laughs> with that being said guys that will wrap up this additional joy designing i want to thank you guys for watching again just be sure to click the subscribe button onto this channel so that way you can stay in a note on the content that's being uploaded here if you guys like this video just be sure to click like if you have any comments suggestions or whatnot or what you desire to see in this joy design in the joy designer series just be sure to hit in the comment section below and let me know share your thoughts and all that good jazz all right be blessed thank you guys very much and by his grace show enough